Um, you've seen all the public polling, people concerned about age. How does the president plan to convince the American people over the next year that 80 is not too old for someone who's running for re-election? 80 is the new 40, didn't you hear? Um, but look, it is, it, it, let's, it, let's, it, you know, I get asked this question about once a week, maybe twice a week, I don't know. Uh, I've lost track. Um, this is a president, if you think about it, um, in 2019, he got the same criticism. In 2020, he got the same criticism. In 2022, he got the same criticism. And every time, he beats the naysayers. Every time he does above and beyond and makes history in doing that, um, that others are not able to, others are not able to do, right? And I think that's really important too. Uh, when you look at his record, you look at he's been able to bring both sides together to get some really important things done. That matters. Uh, you know, if you think about what the president and the vice president was able to do in 2020, 80 million votes, 80 million votes, more than any other, uh, any other ticket in history, in history, and they did that in 2020. And so, um, you know, I get, I get the question on age, certainly we all do, but what we're going to continue to talk about is the record that this president has had. It's been a historic record. Uh, it, is, um, it is something that's going to change the lives of Americans. You think about his economic policy, you think about the infrastructure plan, you think about, I was just talking about the Inflation Reduction Act, whether it's EV, you know, fighting climate crisis, whether it's lowering drug costs because now Medicare is able to fight big pharma. All of these things are things that president before this president have been trying to do for years and years and years and have not been able to do that. And so that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on how can we continue to do big things and how we're going to build on the successes that this president has had in the last two years. Given all that, everything you just listed, why do you think so many Americans still say they have concerns about someone in their 80s being president? You know, I can't speak to every American out there and their concerns. What I can speak to is what this president has done, right? I can speak to his experience. I can speak to the wisdom that he has. I can speak to his record. When it comes to um, when it comes to how Americans, what they're saying about uh, your particular question to me, that's for them to speak to. I can just stay on on our message, the platform that we're trying to push forward, and that is delivering for the American people. We believe that we're doing that. You just heard the president talk about binomics and how it's building a middle class, right, from the bottom up, middle out, and how we, because of the economic policies that we have seen, we've seen some historic growth, right, the 3.5 million jobs, unemployment under 4 percent. All of these things matter, um, and making sure that uh, inflation is being uh, is being you know moderated, and that's what we've seen. So all of these things are important. I get I get the question, but what we're going to focus on is how we're going to continue to build on this president's record, and that's what I can speak to. All right, thanks everybody. Have a great weekend. See you.